one with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. The well, first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Prescott, he's got his man. It's Schultz. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And Prescott to Schultz there for the Cowboy first. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he is into the end zone. Tony Pollard, 27 yards. And the Cowboys have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go when you're an RB1 running back one. You've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Prescott off play action. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And the catch made by Hilton. Touchdown! T.Y. Hilton. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Throwing his hurts out to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 77 yards. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Hurts will throw. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness it reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot, and people were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Off the play fake, Prescott on the move to his left. And his throw is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. To throw once more on second and 10. Prescott, he's going deep for Brown. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Good. That one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Ah, uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. But first down, Hurts. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here we go. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And incomplete on the deep ball. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before him. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. 87 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Going to run again here with Pollard. Room here to run. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one good for 37 yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their... And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Mara, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread? To He's got a man complete! And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. They'll get 34 yards there. 
That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A huge play there on the screen pass. And even 40 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Sanders. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles are back within a score. And the call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll turn to Sanders. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They go back to Pollard on second down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. 170 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Pollard again. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Elliott. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and they'll get him down right around the 16. Marcus Epps there on the tackle. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. From the 16, Prescott flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Mara, up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Hey, you're at the point in the game right now where you got to start taking some chances, and that chance paid off. And it's a good idea to be that aggressive because, truthfully, the defensive guys, they're just playing not to make a mistake. That often means you can make a big play against them. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten now a give here to Pollard just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine the Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play it'll be a handoff to Pollard and he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 201 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great level. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown puts him up seven. But now's when the fun begins, partner, because if you go ahead and kick the extra point, it's still a one-possession game. Go for two, you might put it out of reach. 
Yeah, a little decision to be made. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. Oh, what a juke into space. And a great return, solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Steps away. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. shot they'll look to throw he's gonna let it fly and this is oh my goodness he pulled it in one-handed a fun close ball game comes to an end on that last